Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we'll be reviewing Maker's Mark Cast Strength. Let's get into it. All right, so here is our final bottle for the best bourbon under $40 battle bracket that we have coming up in March. This is the last review of that group, Maker's Mark Cast Strength. And I don't know if you saved the best for last, but it's certainly a good one. Uh, so let's get into this bourbon. Well, first off, actually, let's talk a little bit about the history briefly. Of course, this came from the Samuels family uh, way back when uh, they started making bourbon when bourbon wasn't even cool. Uh, people were drinking all kinds of stuff like gin and vodka because Americans wanted cheap stuff back then for reasons that uh, no one knows. Probably the Great Depression, if we're being honest. Uh, but then finally, the Samuels family came along and said, you know what, no, we're not doing that. We're gonna make bourbon and we're gonna make expensive bourbon, uh, good tasting bourbon. And they did just that. And then of course, uh, Miss Samuels came up with the wax top that is just a classic now. You recognize it immediately. And also, this is a weeded bourbon. Uh, they use their winter wheat, they always have. And that is what makes Maker's Mark have that kind of a uh, smooth, softer taste that a lot of people really love. Of course, this is the cast strength version coming out of Laredo, Kentucky. And so let's go ahead and get into this thing and uh, see what it's all about. See how much different this is than uh, the standard Maker's Mark. It's good already. It's going to be a good review. Uh, just so you know, going in, I do like this bottle. I like pretty much every Maker's Mark product that isn't standard Maker's Mark. That's really the only one that is not really my thing. Outside of that, I pretty much enjoy everything else in the line. So, uh, looking forward to this review. Let's go ahead and get it in the nose. Oh yeah. Just that beautiful, just rich caramel nose. Nice cinnamon spice. Uh, you're getting that, that winter wheat uh, characteristic there, that kind of sweet, bready note. A uh, little hints of pepper in there for sure. Really nice, rich brown sugar note. There's just hints of like a vanilla. Also a nice chocolate note in there as well, like a milk chocolate note. It's a soft chocolate note. Uh, maybe some sweet tobacco in there as well. There's also some, some red fruits coming through, maybe like a strawberry, uh, like a black cherry in there also. Man, this is just, you could, you could wear this as cologne, I'm certain, and attract uh, really men or women, if, if we're being honest. This just smells good enough that it doesn't matter what your sex is, this is an attractive smell no matter what. Anyway, let's get into what really matters though, and that is the taste. First sip, here we go. All right, first sip down and right away, get that cinnamon punch right in the front of the tongue. Uh, nice spice coming through, the cinnamon, little hints of black pepper, actually probably more like a white pepper. It's not real spicy, but just a little uh, pepper spice in there. Got that. Uh, try again, getting tongue twisted here, probably because it's, uh, you know, cast strength. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so you get the spice up front and then you get into those sweeter tones. You get that cherry and it's, instead of a, being a black cherry, it's more just a standard kind of red cherry, almost maraschino cherry, which is not my favorite if we're being honest. But you are getting some nice fruit notes mid palate. You're getting a kind of a bright cherry, a little bit of a strawberry. There's a decent cream note there, kind of a vanilla as well. Uh, and those all work together pretty well. I do like the mid palate. Uh, let's go in for one more sip here and really focus on the finish and see what we're getting there. So folks, before we get into that finish, first, if you're enjoying the video, please hit that like button. All right, so now this finish. Uh, this really reminds me a lot of the old Wild Turkey 101 bottle. Just that ton of sweet cinnamon punch on the finish. Uh, this definitely has that going on, and I really enjoy that. I would actually say that the finish is probably the best part of this experience. And the, the mid palette is very nice as well, and so is the front. 
Um, I just wish there wasn't that kind of maraschino cherry thing going on. There's a little bit of that mid palette. Uh, I wish it was more of a dark cherry note. Uh, that's kind of the only ding that this bottle has at all. And that's a very slight thing because overall, this is a great experience. I really do enjoy this bottle. Uh, this is my fourth or fifth bottle, something like that. Uh, maybe more, uh, probably, probably more if we're being honest. Anyway, I do enjoy this bottle. And, uh, you know, and the finish is excellent. And that's kind of what you're left with. That kind of is the lingering memory that you have is the finish. So the finish is certainly important. And I think this has a really great finish if you like a sweet cinnamon, kind of punchy, spicy finish. I really do enjoy this one. So folks, that is my thoughts on this bourbon. I think it is certainly a value buy. It's right around 40 bucks. And there's not a lot of cast strength stuff in that price range that's as good as this. Uh, you know, you might have Rare Breed as good, strong competition, but that's about it in the $40 price range that's really great cast strength stuff. So uh, now to the rating. So this is our last one again in the best under $40. And I think this is certainly up there with some of the best that we have reviewed. I'm going to say, I'm going to go 7.4. Yeah, I think it's uh, better than a lot of the stuff. Now, remember, we, we, we kind of changed our ratings kind of midway through this. So kind of think about that when you're reflecting back that I may have rated things a little too generously in the past. Um, so with five being an average, 7.4 is well above average. And so I think that this, that's a, a good rating for this bourbon. And I think it's absolutely a buy. If you've never tried it, certainly go out and try it for yourselves. Folks, I hope you have enjoyed this review. I hope it's been helpful. If you have, then please hit that like button again. And also folks, if you wanna see more from us, you can click right here for more reviews. And also, if you're really enjoying the channel, you can subscribe right here. And until next time, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.